sorry, I'm having a really hard time breathing right now. <laughs> Okay. I have a hard time breathing in her room for some reason. I've actually smelled sulfur up here at one point, so I don't, I'm not sure. The lady just, I mean, it looked like she's seen a ghost and she was like, I have to show you this. That is crazy. There were some slaves that came here one cold night and as they were resting, one slave knocked over an oil lantern like that, placed one up in flames and they died from smoke inhalation. So he buried them down here. Their bodies would still be down here. And it said that there was like seven to eight of them. The attic is definitely more of a negative feel. On tonight's episode, we're at one of the most haunted places in the state of Indiana, the Hannah House here in Indianapolis. Oh, oh, whoa. Bert, Bert. Gosh. Whoa. That's cool. Dude, look at that over there. there. Oh my God. Look at this. So yes then. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you buried? Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's right here. Look, 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 look. It's right where we thought. Dude. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh. That's where they're buried, dude. Can you tap that bell once if they died in a fire here? Oh. On tonight's episode of The Paranormal Files, we're at one of the most haunted places in the state of Indiana the Hannah House here in Indianapolis. All I need is just to live one last night. Tired of being in hell all alone. All I need is just to cross the red lights. What we need is just damage. This house is haunted by a number of spirits, including previous owners who died in the home, children, and even the ghosts of slaves who allegedly burned to death in the basement. Tonight we set out to prove a paranormal rumor. Did those slaves really die in the basement of this home? Or is it just something that's been fabricated over the years? Already we've seen some interesting activity here in the home. Get ready, this is gonna be an interesting episode. My name's Colin Brown, thank you for joining us tonight, and you're watching The Paranormal Files. All right everybody, tonight, Jeff and I are in India, Indianapolis, Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Indiana, headed to a location that we had never heard of before this trip. But what did you say earlier? A lot of people in the state of Indiana think this is the most haunted location in all of Indiana. Yeah, and we'd never heard of it. Oh shit, yeah. there it is right there, I think. Yeah, so this house has some extremely tragic and interesting history that everybody here on the channel knows. We absolutely love our history on the Paranormal Files. And this place, if you love history, is gonna be a real treat for y'all. Absolutely. It's some really different history than what we've been Sad able to cover. History. Interesting history. Interesting. And dude. Wow. It just looks. Isn't that weird? weird? Like it's like right here in the middle of all this stuff. Right next to a gas station <laughs> across the street. Yeah, we love being able to do this y'all and honestly I feel just like excitement in the air for this location it's it's really a, a really cool spot it feels good to not be doing somewhere that's as evil right places that we usually tend to uh like this is a <laughs> demon house or people are always like why is there a demon in every video and evil I'm like well we do choose to film at those places that are called that demon mind. houses you go to a pop factory there's gonna be pop there you mean yeah. soda or soda whatever you want <laughs> Quick, put it in the comments. What do you call it? Soda or pop? Let's have a it's debate. It's pop. Come on, man. Oh, shit, wow. though. Dude. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. That is beautiful, man. Oh, my God. It looks Turn spooky. It Dude, it looks creepy as hell from the outside. That is much bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be a tiny little place. Yeah, me too. And the green, like, trim on the windows definitely adds, like, a little element yeah. of eeriness. I don't know. I get haunted mansion vibes for sure from yeah. this already <laughs> well this was owned by a quaker right who were and i won't get into the history yeah right yeah but yeah anyway underground railroad crazy <laughs> you just said i'm not going to get into the history okay well and then you cut that and you're talking <laughs> about the history well, all i said was <laughs> underground railroad uh, i mean i just read a little bit about it is yeah. all you know well guys 
Looks like we're in for a treat tonight. Yep, I'm gonna go have a soda, so. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go have a pop. <laughs> Leave your comment, I'm curious, yo. Actually, yo. I said pop. All right. We ended up going to what's known as the Hannah House. That's in downtown Indianapolis. Has a history of slavery being part of the Underground Railroad. A history of an accident in the basement with slaves being sheltered, but then having an oil lamp or an oil light fall over and start a fire, and a lot of them perished. So a sad history for sure, but the overall look of the building upon getting there, the inside definitely had a creepy factor to it. Once again, for me, a place that I hadn't really heard about, and once you look at these places like this, it's amazing the history that is there and that you don't want to lose. It was pretty amazing again. The Hannah House in Indianapolis is an interesting one. It was a location that we secured kind of closer to when we were going on the trip. It was one that Jeff and I had never heard of, but someone suggested it to us and wow, what a property. I mean, it's beautiful. It's kind of in a strange part of Indianapolis, right amongst, right across from a gas station and some other businesses. And then you have this beautiful old historic home but it definitely looks haunted. It almost looks like the poster for The Conjuring when you're looking up at the house and all the trees hanging overhead. The history of this place is really wild. So uh, without further ado, I'm not gonna spoil too much of it. Let's get into the historical tour. You guys are gonna learn a lot here and there's a lot of mystery behind this property. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty wild one. Hi, I'm Brooke and welcome to the Hannah House. Um, I've been doing tours for the past two years. Um, I really enjoy the house. It has a lot of history to it. Alexander Hanna, he was actually the original owner to the house. He came from Wayne County, bought the property. It was about like 375 acres at that point in time. Um, when he purchased the property, he ended up building the house, three layers of brick around, and only cost like $575 to build it back in the day. He ended up buying more property and it ended up being like 500 acres. Now, of course, it's not 500 acres anymore and I got sold off as the years went on. He married Elizabeth Jackson. Um, she was from Indiana as well. And they had a daughter, Elizabeth. Unfortunately, Elizabeth only was two days old and she passed away. Um, a lot of people speculate that it was stillbirth and it was not. Um, they are actually buried at Crown Hill Cemetery along with his parents, Eleanor and Samuel and his two brothers. After Alexander passed away, he died from a heart attack. He did pass away in the home. This was also well known as um, part of the Underground Railroad. Um, it's not documented, but now it wouldn't be because, you know, you got to kind of hide that. It was kind of illegal back in the day. And not only would he have been, you know, prosecuted, but he could have probably been killed. So the house ended up getting bought by Roman and Maria Ayler. Uh, their daughter, Maria, or Romina, she married an elder. Uh, his name was Marion Elder, and that is who owns the property to this day. One interesting piece is this mantle. It's actually not original to the house. It actually came from the Bates Hotel, not Motel, not Norman Bates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this came from the Bates Motel. So not only was he a um, birthright Quaker, but he also was into politics as well as his dad, Alexander. So you'll see a whole bunch of Abraham Lincoln all over the house. Um, but Abraham Lincoln actually did a presidential run and did one of his famous speeches at the Bates Hotel. So before they demolished it, and now it's where the Embassy Suite sits now to this day, they ended up donating this to the house. So That's super pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Cool. Yeah. So this is Miss Hazel. Um, she is not a part of the house. Um, there's no um, story with her having any ties to the house. She was actually found up in one of the elder family members, their attic when they were cleaning it out. So she's actually deceased in this picture. Oh. Um, this is a post-mortem picture. Her eyes are actually drawn in. Mm. So back in the 1800s, um, a lot of people that were of high importance, you know, um, were very wealthy and well-to-do. You see a lot of pictures of them. Unfortunately, there's not a picture of Alexander. I am big history buff and I have tried looking everywhere and can't find one to this day. It is said that he was a short man though, and I can't find a picture of Elizabeth either. But if you didn't see a picture of somebody with high importance, of course you would see deceased pictures and post-mortem pictures, so. But yeah, a lot of people say that her eyes follow you when you walk across the room, so. But that's Miss Hazel. This is the parlor area. Um, the men would typically hang out on this side, women would hang out on this side. Not a whole lot about this room, except, you know, they would hang out, children were not allowed, so. 
that's kind of fun when children walk in here i'm like you guys better be on your best behavior but yeah this is the parlor so they would have a lot of parties in here cool place to have a party yeah i know <laughs> yeah and actually i know you're familiar with sliding glass doors and everything so if you look over here that's how they actually did sliding glass doors in the day so it's all the way down at the bottom they would just lift it up and promenade and hang out on the deck so yeah cool. so and this actually came from uh roman ehlers uh, jewelry store because he was a big time jeweler, jeweler or kind of like a Tiffany's, you know, back in the day. I want to say because the ends in Washington are backwards that this was like a defect, like a trial and error. And he was like, ah, it's too pretty to let go. So I'll bring it back to the house. But yeah, and it still works. We wind it up. It still works. Um, there was one night back in the 90s, Paul was actually um, doing some work on the stairs and he said he looked out and he seen a woman in white walking across the south porch. So that was pretty interesting. Right here. On this mm -hmm. porch. Yep, on the south porch, yeah. And that actually didn't get built on until um, Roman and Maria bought it, so. First room, well, I'll show you guys. This is, we call this Mammal's room. So it was Maria, it was Roman, Roman and his wife. Um, so it would have been Paul's great grandmother. Um, so over here, there's actually a picture of Mamma uh, Maria. Um, that is one of the pictures we have. We have quite a few other pictures as well. Um, all the other paintings, you can tell they're kind of just donated. Um, sorry, I'm having a really hard time breathing right now. <laughs> okay. I have a hard time breathing in her room for some reason. Um, the bed, the the wind or the mirror and the vanity are actually all mammals. So back when they decided to try to sell the house, um, <laughs> it didn't go as planned, but they did have a big estate sale and the lady that had bought all of the furniture, she passed away. And for some reason they stumbled across the storage unit with all the stuff. So my mom got her stuff. Wow. That's so pretty, pretty wild. Yeah. So, it yeah. left and came back. Huh, yeah. I know. Mammal got all of her furniture back. The shoes, the hat, those are all hers as well. A lot of people say, man, she, she probably had a hard time walking in those shoes. I couldn't imagine, but a lot of people, they say that they walk into her room and it's mainly women. They say that they feel like a overwhelming sense of like emotion, like they'll start crying um, or they'll feel real sad or angry. Um, me, I always feel like really heavy, like it's kind of hard to breathe, but I don't ever feel bad in here. Like I don't feel scared or anything. Um, I've actually done an investigation here a couple times before I started doing history tours and I was laying on her bed and just talking to her and I just felt like somebody just like touched my shoulder, like, you know, it's okay. So that was really cool. So who was Mama again? Maria Ehler. So Roman, um, the second family that owned the property, um, it was his wife. So we call her Mamaw though, because that's the elder children. It's their great grandma, so. Did she die here? She did. She did pass away here. Yeah, there's been there's been a couple, and I'm sure there, there's been more deaths in the house. I mean, this house has been around since the 1800s, so who's to say, right. really? So, but yeah, we'll walk over here. It's a creepy picture over there. Whoever yeah, is. yeah. I I want to say she's a nurse, um, and then there's another picture that's kind of similar to her. So I'm actually in nursing school right now, and a lot of people think that she is a nun. And this room, um, I want to say that it was Alexander's room. I've actually heard from the owner that this was possibly his room at one point. So, um, but I think that that's Florence Nightingale. So she was a very well-known nurse and she actually started the whole sterile technique. Yeah, so, but I think it's a nurse for sure. And it looks like Florence Nightingale because there's pictures all over her <laughs> at my school, so. And then if you walk over here, you can actually see where there was a nursery at one point. Where the, see where it cuts off? Oh yeah. Yeah, there was actually a nursing, nurse, nursery right here at one point, so. That's interesting, yeah. yeah. Right, so right there would have been mm -hmm. the wall. Yep. Um, I don't know if it was baby Elizabeth's. Maybe they took it down um, or put it up for her. But I do know that it was still a room when the elders lived here. So. Wow. And Paul did live here at one point. He lived over in the old servant quarters. So. 
and the old servant quarters that got built on in 1872, a year after he married um, Elizabeth Jackson, Alexander. So this room, we call it the Lincoln Room. Like I said, you'll see a lot of Abraham Lincoln <laughs> when we're walking around here. I want to say it was like a study. I mean, a lot of people say that they can smell cigar smoke. I've actually smelled sulfur up here at one point, so I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, a lot of people say that they can smell cigar smoke. Back in the day, they used to do murder mystery um, tours, and they also did a uh, haunted house as well. So they built this on, which is very cool. If you guys want to take a walk back here, just watch your step. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay. Yeah, right. So in this room, I'm actually going to show you a picture. They used to do indie fun tours, so they would start downtown and then would move their way, you know, here this would be the last stop that the bus would go to. You know, we usually don't let people back here, but when, you know, you're doing an overnight, we definitely allow you to. But there was a lady that just like snapped a quick picture and she got back on the bus and Kira, which she's another tour guide that is here as well. She asked the lady if anything was wrong. The lady just, I mean, it looked like she's seen a ghost and she was like, I have to show you this. So, I don't know if you can really see it. Oh my god. Yeah. That whole figure? Yeah. So I don't know if you can really see it, but... camera on the way. Alright. That is crazy. And, you know, I've tried enhancing it and everything, and I can't make out her face. But it does look like a, you know, probably younger black woman, lady, maybe, I mean, adolescent, you know. Not... A child but maybe you know a teen because of how short she was but it does get pretty thick in here too as well and then back through here this is the original this is where the original slave quarters was um, and then there's the one on the back side um, like I said we're going through a lot of stuff and trying to get stuff cleaned up but it's also really cool because right down this way so where is the slave quarters? it was right, right there here. yeah okay. so and then on the outside the top part of the balcony is where the second one got built on um well it's the servant quarters not slave quarters Ser i'm sorry i take that back um yeah so the servants lived there and they also lived right out here and then right through here they built on stairs so they didn't have to use one main stairway so this goes down to the kitchen These stairs are original to the house. So they've been here since the 1800s. That's crazy. Yeah. So, so this is the basement. Oh, this is super oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, so oh, wow. over here you'll see all these jars. Um, those are Maria Ehlers, those are mammals. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend eating them. They're probably fermented and you might get a little tipsy off of them, so. Uh, <laughs> those are hers that she hers, actually yeah. bottled and mm -hmm. stuff? Yep. Wow. So, so the legend of the basement is because this was, you know, well known to be a part of the Underground Railroad. There were some slaves that came here one cold night and as they were resting, one slave knocked over an oil lantern like that, place went up in flames and they died from smoke inhalation. Um, because Alexander was a Christian man, unfortunately he wasn't able to give them the proper burial like they deserved, so he buried them down here. Um, and to this day, legend has it that they're still buried down here. There's been, you know, disembodied voices. I've actually heard a little girl down here. Cold spots, and I know it's a basement, but you know the difference between certain cold spots, you, those pins and needles feeling, so. Um, but yeah, and some people have even seen shadows, especially like right over there in the doorway, so. So the fire would have happened down here? Yes. There is no documentation of it either, but like I said, I mean, you know, it goes back to, you know, him harboring slaves, you know, and keeping them safe. He's not going to, it's not going to be documented because he would have gotten in big trouble for that. So, um, but Indiana, it was a free state. So a lot of Quakers and stuff that were from Indiana, they did help harbor a lot of slaves. So was this house like ever in any record documented to be a part of the railroad? It wouldn't have been. They didn't keep any mm -hmm. records. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> when you actually nope. think about it. Uh, same with the fire. I mean, why would you do that if you try to get any kind of insurance or anything like that on the house or try to get it fixed up? They're going to be like, well, what was the fire? What started it? And then, you know, then they're going to come down here, see that, you know, there's been people buried down here. But um, I do believe that it was a part of the Underground Railroad. I don't have any doubt about it at all, um, especially just because of the interactions I've had with spirits down here. I definitely think that 
if something did happen to them along the way, you know, them leaving here and something happened, um, because not everybody was able to get make it to freedom, you know. So I think that a lot of spirits, they traveled back to where they felt more, most comfortable. And um, I think that this was where they felt, you know, comfort and, you know, peace. So um, anybody that didn't make it after here, I think that they probably came back. And, you know, this is their home. This is where they felt most comfortable, so. I think importantly, uh, Indianapolis is definitely part of the Underground Railroad. Oh, absolutely. Proper, you know, the Indianapolis itself. Yeah. A lot of the area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. Oh, and we have railroad tracks right there. Right. <laughs> so. oh. You can't hear the train, right? Yeah, so. It's going off there. Yeah. So, they, so their bodies would still be down here? Yeah. That's the, so yeah, crazy. This is the and it said that there was like seven to eight of them that actually perished down here. Um, but like I said, I don't know. That's just legend, but I have had quite a few experiences down here, and so has a lot of other people. This is definitely one of the hot spots of the house, for sure. So, What do people typically like experience down here? Um, cold spots. They hear voices. I was actually down here one night, and I was with my friend Judy, and we heard a little girl from right over there, and she I couldn't really make out what she was saying, um, but she heard it as well, and then we also caught it on EVP, too, so... That was really cool. Um, a lot of people say that, you know, their equipment dies fast down here. They've seen shadows. There's been some people that have actually been, you know, tugged or pushed or whatever. Um, not, like, violently, but, you know, like, enough to, like, hey, I'm right here, you know, so. But, yeah. What are these, um, like, almost shells of spiders, like, right here above us? What are all these white? No. See them? Uh, it's right here? I don't know. What the what hell is that? They're almost like an exoskeleton, you know? I don't know. Dude, that is For very those that don't creepy. Know an exoskeleton. Yeah. I was a biology major, but you know? Yeah. Uh, I they don't shed. Know. It looks like they shed that. It's not like a dead bug. I don't know. Like I don't want that weird. in my hair, though. Oh, yeah. Whoa. That one's just yeah. kind of lingering in it. I'm like, dude, right above the. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, really? Yeah. He, yeah. Lo he doesn't definitely like spiders. spiders. Definitely, it's definitely a spider basement for sure. Oh, yeah. Great. I think they <laughs> don't, don't get anything caught in that pretty hair. Yeah. <laughs> you get in trouble. <laughs> they, they shed that and they get bigger each time. Yeah. So, also, there'd be this huge one around the corner for Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, also down here, there's another side to the basement. Um, I gotta take out my phone so I can actually see where to walk. So these walls and everything, I told you guys that this used to be a haunted house as well. Um, they stopped doing them in 2013 though when David Elder died, one of the Elder brothers. So, but watch your step. Oh my God, dude, these webs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy f Yeah, Holy and then be careful yeah. right there too. I know, dude. Jesus Christ. I I'm a worse nightmare, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> he, he doesn't like spiders. I don't like bats. So. Well, these are fake spider webs, if that makes you feel better. Yeah, these are. <laughs> There's an egg right there. That's an egg. God, what, why are you saying that? Well, no, just because. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Dude, this is way too much. So in the kitchen, when you guys got here, I had mentioned the cellar door, and that's how I believe that the slaves, you know, that were getting in, that's how they had access to the basement. Um, and it's right on the other side of this door. So it's like kind of hidden on the outside, and then they'd come down and, of course, come through there. Um, and then that's the old boiler. That's super cool. Yeah. That's, a, that's original to the house, for sure. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's the Hannah house. So... So what do you think are like the three or four hot spots, like the most frequently three reported? Three or four hot spots. Well, definitely down here. And I mean, both sides of the, both sides of the basement, I've actually had interactions with spirits and like I said, you know, equipment going off and hearing voices. Um, Mammal's room is definitely a good one. And then I also still have to show you guys the attic. I probably won't stay up there too long, but I'd be glad to show you guys. Um, I did see a shadow peeking around the corner of one of the pillars up in the attic, and um, a lot of people say that they feel real sick when they go up there, me included. So, And I never had that feeling. I mean, like I said, I've investigated this place before I became you know, a history tour guide, and there's been a couple times I went up there and felt nothing at all, and then it's just like now every time I go up there, I just feel really, really sick, like very nauseous, my head hurts. 
And I typically walk away because I don't want them <laughs> to latch on to me. So that so, makes sense. So probably the my my whole back is like freezing right now though, right here. It definitely feels different yeah. in this part of the basement. Well, attic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so out here is the servant quarters that got built onto when he married Elizabeth. So that got built in 1872. But yeah, right over here. And this is roof access. I wouldn't recommend walking up there. Yeah. But it was right over here. I was sitting over on one of those chairs and it looked like someone was just like, so. Any history up here? <laughs> but it's supposed to be more haunted? There's more, there's been more experiences from a lot of people that have been up here too, so. I wonder if there's anything that happened up here that's just never been recorded. I, it's possible. I so, this that. house has been around <laughs> since, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, there was 500 acres here at one point. So, you know. So, who all died here? Just kind of go through it one more um, time. Alexander, I am 99% sure Maria, grandma, baby Elizabeth. And there have been people that have said that they've heard, you know, a baby crying upstairs, so. What's the most intense paranormal experience anybody's ever had here? Intense? Yeah. I'd probably say being pushed down in the basement. And then I think there's been quite a few people. I know of at least two that have been pushed up here. Seeing that apparition, that shadow when I was up here, that definitely was pretty intense, so. That makes sense. Yeah. But... Like, even right now, like, I just don't feel, I don't feel right at all, so, but. Yeah, I think a lot of these places you can feel kind of empty, <clears throat> like we talk about, and this mm -hmm. is, again, I feel like not empty. Yeah. yeah. But for the most part, I mean, the rest of the house, I mean, I walk in and it's kind of like a welcoming feeling. Like, yeah. you, it, it definitely feels like a full house, for sure, but. I don't feel like nobody's not wanted. I feel like they're very welcoming to people in their home. Yeah. As long as, you know, you're respectful. So, right. Yeah. So I guess my last question, and I ask this to everybody. Mm -hmm. Would you say this place is haunted? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. No doubt? No doubt. Everybody <laughs> should come check it out. <laughs> oh, well, shit. Okay. I guess we got to let the sun set. Still got a little while to go. We got here early today, man. What's up with that? I don't know. We're usually permanently <laughs> <Wait>. late. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. So, um, there was actually a scary movie that was filmed here. It's called The Witch House. And during production and when they were filming, there was some of the crew was downstairs. You know, they're setting up cameras and everything. And they kept hearing children running upstairs. And they were like, someone needs to get those kids. And there was no children here. So that was pretty wild. There was also another time when David Elder, when they were running the haunted house, um, and I believe this was back in 2010 when he had this happen, but there was a loud crash. It sounded like all those jars down in the basement it sounded like every single one of them got knocked down. Him thinking maybe some kids broke in or whatever, he goes down there, nothing was touched. Hmm. Um, there was also, this was actually probably one of the coolest experiences that I've had here, but it was in this room and I was standing right over there and I was talking to my friend Erica and we were just walking around, you know, making sure everything was locked up for the night and we heard a woman humming just <laughs> and I just like looked at her and I was like, can you do that again? And then we heard a knock and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> like that's so cool. So, so it but, seems to be like happier spirits here and then mm -hmm. basement and attic more not negative but like basement i wouldn't say so much negative um maybe they're they're a little bit more standoffish you know if they are you know slave spirits down there Un unsettled um, yeah but the attic is definitely more more of a negative feel for sure hands down so but i do feel more um 
more feminine energy up here. I feel more women up here. Um, downstairs, there have been a lot of men that reported they feel like a man is actually following them around. And I'm like, well, that's probably Alexander making sure you don't mess up his house. Right. So, um, there have been reports that people, because I had mentioned that Alexander was a short man, um, there's been reports of him actually walking around the property or riding a pony when people have drove by the house. So, Ghost pony? Mm-hmm. Shit, never heard yeah. of that. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome to see. Um, people have also said they've reported seeing a woman up here, um, either out this window or right through there, um, just looking out at the property. So, How short was he? So if you're walking down the steps, try to hold on to the banister and feel how like, short it is. Definitely. I can't it's even right grab here. it if I mess that weed down. <laughs> Like, it's like you can barely, like, grab onto it. And with other banisters, you know, you're holding on to it. Like yeah, this. right. So, yeah, he was he was pretty short. <laughs> Maybe he was one of the hobbits. Or isn't that what they call Yeah. 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 He's friends with Frodo. Who's yeah. That's what I'm saying. There. So, but yeah, I hope you guys catch some stuff tonight. Me too. At this point, it was time for our investigation. And like I said before, the mystery is there in the history. Who is the entity that's upstairs that scares people that they used to call the bad man? Are there really bodies buried in the basement of this property? Did that fire really happen? I mean, it makes sense that they wouldn't have all that written down in historical record because of the fact that it was obviously underground railroad and they could be persecuted if they would have actually recorded something like that happening so it's almost it's just a strange a strange thing to uh to have happen where everyone says it happened you don't have history for it but this is one of those rare cases where the history probably is the fact that there wouldn't be history if that makes sense but we wanted to start investigating and so we started on the second floor of the main house and stuff was actually going to start happening immediately. It started happening before we started rolling, but just check this out. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, wanna introduce yourselves? I'm Corey, this is my wife, Sabrin. Hello. So, these two came out to just say hi before starting our investigation. We actually, Sabrin is a part of the project that we announced. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be out yet at this point, but there's going to be an announcement coming soon. She's been doing some really awesome work helping, so you guys should thank her for a lot of the stuff that she's done. But you guys have been watching for a while. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. She's really the one. She's while. the one that put me on the paranormal files, and I've got to say, um, I was just telling them about this. That the history is huge. It, outside of the spooks, it's so great to know about the background, what leads to the spooks to begin with, what was it going on with the history. With the location, exactly, sure. exactly. So. So people do care about the history. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I know. Shocker, right? <laughs> Well, I just wanted to give y'all a shout out for being awesome and for coming out tonight. Absolutely. It was it was great. It was great to meet you guys. Can Absolutely. we get a uh, stay spooky? Stay spooky. Stay spooky. <laughs> stay spooky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So it's about 1010. Those two just came, joined us. They're members of our Patreon. Like I said, Sabrin is helping with a, a really big project that is coming up. So. It was super great to be able to meet those guys. We took them through the house, gave them a little tour, just hung out for a while before we started filming. But this place is super interesting. I mean, where is that aggressive energy coming from in the attic, in the basement? Who are the children that they're hearing running around in this house? There's a lot of mystery here. And even though there are recorded deaths, like Alexander, who died here in the home, the story of those slaves in the Underground Railroad is so deeply intriguing to me. I mean, it really does make sense. They would not have records of that happening, especially if the guy who owned the house at the time um, experienced that and then just buried them in the basement. I mean, there would be zero record because not only would he be trying in that moment to actually hide the bodies, but yeah, he's not gonna tell anybody or mark that stuff down because he could be executed for that at the time, seeing as it was a fucking crime. So. I don't know. It's really strange. There's some strange energy in that basement, but I'm excited to kind of dig into this and see if we can get in contact with the spirits of those unsettled, of those unfortunate people who were trying to escape slavery and sadly perished on their journey to freedom. But tonight, we are joined by Mr. Oh, Glasses Spook, no, sorry about that. Mark Kent. 
There we are. <laughs> Let's me see better up close, so you know, so. Hey, everybody. <laughs> no, I think this is actually a really, um, again, an interesting place because of the Underground Railroad for myself. The idea of the Quakers being all around this area that were, I guess, what would guide or point slaves that were trying to escape to Canada. And Indianapolis is a historic part of the Underground Railroad. We've never really been in a location where, you know, again, supposedly he hid uh, slaves or provided a safety place for them on their way to Canada here in the basement. And of course the fire that ensued, unfortunately, that allegedly took several slaves' lives. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think it's a unique place. We haven't done anything like this before. Um, I think the Colin. Why'd you take your glasses off and so quickly? What was that? Did I take them off quick? Yeah, you just randomly whipped them off. This is so funny because your mom will appreciate this because when I go to get my sunglasses out of the top in the car, I'm like. So was I, I don't know. I did do that fast, didn't I? Yeah, it was just really random. <laughs> Sorry. Every, Let's try it again. you decide to do that? Take two. Okay. So again, <laughs> the reason that I like this place, anyway, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's the Underground Railroad. Uh, we've not done a location like that. And it's got some sad history to it, um, unfortunately, but also some hopeful history because they obviously, allegedly, if they were doing that, they got a lot of people's safety. So um, anyway, I'm excited to go. It's late and we had like count uh, two great uh, part of the, members of our community show up with us for like an hour or so and uh yeah let's go let's go so to start this evening we are going to we're going to start off soft we're going to head to the upstairs here in the house and investigate we're going to investigate the grandmother's room i think her name was mama well her name is marie or marie and uh we're going to see if there's any energy on that floor because that's a place where a lot of experiences have been had then we're gonna head up to the attic, investigate that area to see what this negative energy is. Um, our tour guide earlier told us that, that the entity up there used to be nicknamed the bad man. So I don't really know where that would come from, but ultimately we're gonna get down to the basement at the very end. So keep watching because that's the place that has really the vortex of energy here where we're gonna get those answers that, that we really are seeking tonight. But it's time to do it, my friend. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay. Awesome. Okay, you're up. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cut. You can cut whenever. Okay. Go for it. I can't. Why? <laughs> you don't know how? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Steve, that's the room. That's the room. This... Wait. Did that one just go? Hold on, yes. Yes. Okay, they're all one, dude. Cool. So we're just setting up right now. Both of these REM pods go off, are going off, and then the one in the doorway over there went off too. Look this one. Is that the room you want us to come in? And that just went off. Ew. Oh, look, someone just walked over here. They're all coming out of the rooms. Did somebody just come out of these rooms and stand with us? Dude, there it goes. Dude, because that can't be us. No, look at it. No, no. You have to be... Look at how close. Sure. You have to there be right here. There it is. You see that? That's how close you have to be to set that thing off. It says Ma. M-A, Ma. Oh, Ma. Oh, come on. Ma. I mean. Should I reset it? Yeah. Okay. Silence. Can you let us know who's here? Oh, look at. I moved it. Let's reset it again. Oh, look at that. Are you in there? She's. I think they're in there. Dude, it smelled Ma again. M-A-H this time. Ma, it's spelled out twice. All right, everybody. So right now we're upstairs in the Hannah house. We've got the house pretty much booby trapped with REM pods. 
EMF sensing devices, ovilus type devices. We're gonna see what room these spirits want us to investigate. Already we've had Mamaw's, the grandmother's room, the REM pod spiking. We've had this room right here, the REM pod spiking, and the proximity meter going off over there as if someone stepped up to speak with us. And yep, down here. Yep. Yep. And then. All right. So to whoever's here in the Hannah house, I just want to introduce ourselves this evening. My name's Colin. My name's Jeff. We have a bunch of little toys you can come play with. If you speak using your voice, we might be able to hear what you're saying. We're not here to be mean or rude. We just want to hang out and have some fun with you guys. If there's anybody here, that's the light there, playground. If there's anybody here, can you give us a sign that you're here with us right now? Maybe knock on something. Go touch one of our red lights. Let us know that you're here. Nani Tempo. Wait, dude, is it Man huh? Is it Manitoba, Canada? Keep coming forward. Is it Manitoba, Canada? Yeah. We live in the shadows. Canada. Canada. Literally the first words, because that'd be the people from the Underground Railroad. They're heading to Manitoba. We yeah, live in the right. shadows. That's like, crazy. you can't see us. You hide us. Right. I mean, wow. I got chills from that when you just went through and said That's that. That's actually crazy. Oh, look. Manitoba, anyway. Someone walked over here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is green. Like it's medium. green, which means someone walked here. Dude, so they already touched this one, and they're coming out of that room. We live in the shadows. I mean, like we you said, and then Manitoba is Canada. That's really strange. Downstairs, we were talking. I'm certain. I'm certain again. That's the second time I said that. Mm. Look at that. Yeah. Twice. Wow. What about that? Oh. Maybe they're uncertain if they'll ever get to Manitoba. What if they're dead? They don't know they're dead, and they're still saying, "We want to get to Manitoba." Can you give us some more information? What are you trying to get across to us? What, what information are you trying to say? There's evil everywhere. Hmm. Like, yeah. I can't protect you. There's evil yeah. everywhere. Well, there would be because people are after them. It's almost like we're hearing a conversation between them. That's a vacant room over there. Boots. There's boots. Oh, shit. Dude. It's boots. Oh. Oh, look at that. You want us to come in there? Can you touch that red light? Just did. There's boots. Are you talking about the boots in here? <laughs> Can you touch that red light if you want us to come into Mamaw's room and speak, and speak with you? Okay, I did. Well, let's, let's go. go. All right, I'm gonna turn this bell on right here. So we're gonna ask whoever's in here, maybe it's Mama. Mama, is that you? We're gonna ask you a couple questions. To answer yes to that question, just tap on that bell that's on the bed. The number two. The number two, I was about to say. If you tap the bell once, that means your answer is yes. If you tap it twice, just like you just said, that means the answer to the question is no. Oh, okay. So, yes then. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mama, I'm gonna ask you a question first. So, were there ever slaves trying to escape slavery in this house? Agree. Oh, agree. Agree. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, man. So, there were slaves in this house. Thank you for coming in here, Mama. Can you tap that bell again if some of those slaves died in the basement of the house? 
Did they die? Somebody's definitely here in this room. Did the slaves that were in this house in the basement die in the fire? Can you tap that bell once if they died in a fire here? Oh! So they could die in a fire. Oh! Carl. Carl, are you here? Can you say your name again or ring or maybe touch the bell twice? No. Mm. Okay, I would say that that's not Carl. If it's not Carl, then who is here with us right now? Sticky. Sticky. Atlanta again. Wait, what? Atlanta again. Me. Atlanta. Remember? I mean, they might be telling me. I can't get it. Yeah. Telling us they're from Atlanta. Or if it's not the slaves, um, whoever it is, do you know if they came from Atlanta? Ring the bell once for yes. Oh, okay. oh. Dude, that's crazy. Painful. Inconvenient and painful. And this said recluse. What is inconvenient and painful? Didn't she say that the older woman was a recluse who lived up here? I don't remember. Like that she didn't part. like to leave? Bell! Oh! What? He will harm you. Oh! He will he harm you. you. Maybe that's the, the person upstairs. Walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, we've heard that there's somebody who's kind of angry in the upstairs of the house in the attic. Yeah. Is that true? Can you ring that bell once if that's true that there's an angry person here? Oh. Can you ring the bell once if the angry person is a man and ring the bell twice if it's a woman or three times if it's not human? Look about. Upstairs. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Tree. Maybe it's just the woman here. Are you talking about the woman here that's in this room? If so, ring the bell once or twice if it's not. There's one ring. For yes. Uh -huh. so, but a woman here. Look, there's two, rings, two again. rings. What should be upstairs? Yeah. Mom, brother and sibling? Yeah. Two different devices. S sibling. Oh. Okay, we're, we're, these must be... Oh. Dude, we're, maybe, maybe we're talking about idiosyncrasy. Maybe we're, like, these things are happening together. Oh, look at that. Okay. Dude, maybe we're talking to siblings. Let me ask you this. This, okay. this might make sense. You rang the bell twi oh my God. twice. I was just about to say the word twice and it rings. Okay, so you rang the bell twice. Maybe. One o'clock. So maybe you're a man down here and your sister is upstairs and she's angry. More. M O O R E. You're saying you're her brother? Probably not. So. Okay, let me try that again then. You said no, that it was a woman upstairs. Are you a woman in here? And your angrier, your angry brother is upstairs? That's what you're saying? Ring the bell once if you're the... I'd say that's a yes. No? Okay, we don't have a... You know what's weird and weird? Like twice it says fill up. Fill up. Like it could be an... an it could be like a phonetic. Fill up. Wow. Dude. Jackpot, it said. No, after we're trying to say it, I couldn't tell. So you're here with us, so let's try this one more time. 
Ring the bell if there's an angry man upstairs. Just ring it once. Untrue. Okay, so we gotta remember. So ring the bell if there is an angry woman upstairs. Ring it once. <sighs> yeah, I think you've answered that already. I have, but okay. Okay, so let's just keep with that. So this is the brother of the woman who's upstairs who's speaking with us. Is your name, last name Moore, M-O-O-R-E? Ring that bell once if that's your last name. Hi. Hi. I've got I've got Don and McMullen. See? You're being followed. See, that's what I think is like a my affirmation is a one ring. So hide and you're being followed. That's fine. that could be residual once again from the days of the Underground Railroad, the owners saying, You guys need to hide, there's someone following you. Like if there was like law enforcement or people, you know, trying to chase them down. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Blind. blind. Like he was blind. Marie, I understood this is your bedroom. Can you come out or come forward and acknowledge, acknowledge that you're here? People can't hear me. Okay. We can. Okay, if I'm talking to Marie, can you let us know um, anything about if you hid the slaves down in the base basement? Give us some words that would confirm that, or that, that it was a fire. It's not all bad. No, I don't. We don't. We don't think it's actually bad. We think it's actually great what you did. Yeah, I also want to add in here. If there's any spirits in here who are afraid we might turn them into law enforcement or something, we're not going to do that. You see, they're afraid. You don't. You can tell us the truth. Yeah, no. Oh, legacy. We're, we're friendly. Legacy. Like that's okay. what their legacy was. Yeah. It's like they want to tell us something. Someone's coming through. Um, give us something very clear. Are you referring to the person upstairs, which is we think a female? Wrong, dude. Okay. Wow. It keeps. This thing is literally telling us immediately. Oh. No, probably not. Okay, but, but what, what if it's like you've asked a male and a female? Carolyn. Carolyn. But, but it's not. I mean, we're getting names, Powell. Yeah. You know. Fuck. But what if it's not? I'm, I'm gonna throw it out there. What if it's not human? You know. Because it's not a male, it's not a female. Dude. Okay, so we're not gonna say this is demonic. No, no. We're just, it could be not human. Yeah. Can you ring that bell if the angry person or thing that's upstairs is not human? Hold up, we gotta get a clearer one yeah, to make sure yeah, they're yeah, sure. Yeah. Ring that bell twice if the thing upstairs is not a human. And that's why you keep warning us about it and why people have bad experiences. Ring it twice. Like Springfield? Like coming from Springfield? Ring it twice if it's not a human. Little boy around you. Okay. There's children up here. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tonight we had our guests come with Sabre us. Sabre and her husband. Yeah, yep. And went out to say goodbye between the cars. Our car and their car <clears throat> was a ball that we brought. I didn't take it out of the car. Colin didn't take it out of the car. It was laying right in between our cars. So, okay. Wow. Oh. I got. Proxy. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. So there's a children nearby or a ch Oh, like cry. Yeah, like a child. Oh what no call Adam. Adam. or call him the ball. Yeah. I mean too, I was just talking about Adam though, a little boy. We got outside to say goodbye 
and the ball is laying outside in between our cars. And they kind of stopped in their tracks and like, was that there? And they're like, no, it wasn't there. And that's our ball that came out of the car. Again, it's just odd. Yeah, we didn't. I, yeah, I mean, so possibly a young boy or Adam, if that's you, did you maybe want to play with that ball that we had outside? So right now, it seems like Adam, you're the girl upstairs, her brother, and the girl upstairs is angry for some reason. Trap. Punch. Trap and punch? And brutal. Brutal trap and punch. Like, like something, you know. Most likely. Oh. So if we go upstairs, it's a trap and we're gonna get a brutal punch. Again, sanctity. Okay. This is a safe place. This is a sanctuary. Can you ring that bell if it's a trap to go upstairs? Did the people in this home help you? Were they friendly to you? Patrimonio. Was this a place that was a safe place for you? If so, ring the bell once. If not, ring it twice. Okay, it was a safe place. I was sleeping in the fire when the fire mm -hmm. broke out. Mask. It was not, it was at night they were using yeah. a lamp. Yeah. Okay, but I think this was a safe place for him. So I think we're gonna move on to a different room. I wanna continue this conversation. It's just kind of unclear as to who we're speaking with, but you're very smart. Can you ring the bell if we should go visit my grave? Visit my grave. Okay, we're that's the there. basement. No, that's the basement, bro. Oh my God, you're right. They were supposedly buried in the basement. Okay, can you ring that bell once if your grave is the basement of this house? Ring that bell once if you're buried in the basement. <laughs> Diet, diatonic, I can't, I don't know. Well, we're not gonna go to the basement yet. That's where we're gonna end our investigation. Can you tell us something about? Oh. I, think it wants us to, I think it wants us to go out of this room. No, I think it's the fire and stuff that's down on the downstairs, is what I think. I know, that's what I mean, it's leading us to another room. Yeah. Ring this bell if we should go to another room right now to keep asking questions. That was her. Burnt! Burnt! Burnt. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, oh. Dude, okay. And that was her. That was her. Okay. The woman Whoa. that is upstairs, she's standing at the, the woman that they've been talking about that lives up in the attic is standing at the doorway, like trying to get us to come out. Wow. Oh, oh. Remember they said it's a trap? Burnt though. Wow. Oh. oh like, yes, yes. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Hold on. Six? Hold on. Did they say it was probably six to nine people? Yes. But just remember. One, oh. uh, can you tell us where to go? Life. Well, we, we, we know there was some loss of life. Clouds. Where do you want us to go next? Scrape. Can you let us know? That you, okay. I, I think it's us just have to say yes. Do you want us to go to the attic? Ring the bell once? A tragedy. Oh, wow, dude, I think that's our burnt. And that's a trap. I mean, that's clear that that's I'm in touching the, your back. That's in the basement. Yeah, it's true. Is it a bad idea to go to the attic? Can you ring that bell once if it's a bad idea? Because of the the angry woman up there? Fugitive! Can you get that? Oh, okay. So it's a bad idea to go up in the attic. Well, we have to. Yeah. Go east. Go east? Look up your phone right now. Look at a calculator. Go or, a, or, a, or a compass. What? Why? <laughs> to see what direction is east. Okay. Huh. 
Yep. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> was that your footwear? Marie, are you here? Look on the shelf. I think we're Look on the shelf. There, there's the, that's her. Marie. That's her. That's Marie. She's on the show. That's why. She, died a long time ago. Died a long time ago. We understand that you did. I think we're talking to Marie. You told us to look on the stand. That's your picture. Well, I think it's time to move locations. Okay. You ready? Yep. Thank you for talking to us, Marie, and whoever else was here. Thank you. Do you want us to go? If so, where should we go? Sounds like it. Where should we go? To the attic? All right. Okay. Oh, okay. So it seemed like somebody was telling us that there was a spirit of an angry woman in the attic area. I don't know who that would be. We don't know who that would be, but it seemed to have confirmed that multiple times on a bunch of different devices. That's the whole thing with our investigations. We don't just use one device and then tell the story from that device. We have like seven different Ovilus type devices running at the same time. And oftentimes they'll all spit out answers and words that are really close to each other. So it's like, this thing's telling us a story across all these devices, but what does it mean? Well, we wanted to go check out and see if it really is an angry woman upstairs. And this footage is about to shock you. That light. We just got set up up here. That's where she saw the figure. Oh, this going off here, dude. Oh, look at, look at, look at. Pointed right at that. Right where she saw the figure right here next to this, the chimney. That was going off and this is pointed right at it. Are you over there? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm still setting stuff up up here, but. Oh, over there, yeah, that light. Yeah. Look at this light, the pair light. Yep. That's going Dude, look at that over, look there. It over there. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Dude, that thing Kay. is the cr that's the hardest. What do, you, what do you think we should do, dude? Well, I'm just setting up right now, so I'm going to finish setting this equipment Kay. up and then we're going to do an SLS sweep up here. Okay. I think it's over there right now. This is like this is going off. I mean, fucking bizarre, dude. Okay. Oh. oh. That's going crazy. Damn, that's the hardest hit we've had all okay. night. Okay, we're gonna get a device out shortly so you can show yourself to us, okay? But you can keep playing with these lights. Do what you want. So Colin's just getting more things set up right back over here. But we've had this light going like crazy. I think we're gonna get a lot of, oh dude, look at this pair light that went all the way up. Did you see that? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I just heard it. Hold on, definitely, th yes, things are here, things are here. Oh, dude, that just went from blue to red. Oh, shit, dude, dude. standing right there. Okay, look it. It just went blue to red. It's red. Can you see this on camera? Oh, it went back to blue. You can see that change. Okay, it looks like you're coming out and going back in. Thanks for coming out. So we're up in the attic right now. This is crazy. The moment that I set up the REM pod, where she saw that shadow man, that thing that scares people up here, REM pods started going off. Then Jeff set up the music box right there. Music box starts detecting motion for the first time really all night Point in that at, at that corner. Then I set up the proximity meter. While the REM pod's going off, something stands right in front of it. Like it's standing right there and now it's stopped. Isn't that strange? Very strange. Look at, I mean, right now, it's just calm. We know you're up here. It looks like you just want to show yourself to us when you want. Oh, just went off. Do you want to show us you're here one more time? Oh, dude, it's on the dude, other side. What? Look it, it. Went, it went dark. It's, it's on the other side of it. It's standing. Can you touch that red light right next to that green light? Oh, oh now it went back. Is it moving back and forth? Yeah. Like she said, remember? Yeah, it came right from there. behind and then out. Maybe that's like a. You can show yourself at any time. No place to go. So you're, you're stuck up here. Susan. Susan. Oh, you, you thought it was a woman, right? Yeah. Dude, it was a woman. There we go. Well, I think, oh, look at that. So we heard downstairs that the person up here 
that's a little bit angry and likes to push people that their name is Susan. Is the thing over there, is your name Susan? Can you touch that red light again or? Seven spirits. Seven spirits, the slaves. I don't want to scare you. I don't want to scare you. Okay. Well, we're not scared, but. No, you're okay to come out. Is your name Susan? Can you make those lights go off again, Susan? You like this light right now? I mean, that's truly bizarre. Like, look at how much activity we had right there. And now all three devices are quiet. Yeah, right? It's like it's just standing behind that little it was wall. It's crazy how much was going on. We're friendly, by the way. Are you still over there? Is anybody still over there? Oh. What? It went off. Run pod. Come really? forward. Yes. I have it on here. Yeah, you can come out farther. It's kind of like it's popping out of that, like she said. Please step out from behind that chimney and show yourself. Don't be afraid. We're here. We're friendly. Oh. It's what? It stepped out. Right there. Green. Oh. It stepped out on that it side. Is. Okay, too. thank you. There's a ghost standing right oh. there right now. Yeah, so what Colin's talking about is right there. Oh, and it went right to blue when I went on it, Colin. Of course. Of course. And uncertain again. It said yeah. that word oh. three times. Maybe they're uncertain of our intentions. So I know in the past that people have tried to come here to capture. People have come here searching for maybe people that were hidden or in hiding. But I want you to know that we're not looking for anybody to get them in trouble. And we're not here. We're not the police. We're not any authorities. We're not from the government we just want to speak with those people especially those who know about either they know about the deaths of the slaves the seven six or seven freed slaves that died and were buried in the basement or if there are any of those men or women here who's here so i'm going to ask you one more time you know we're here we're friendly we just want to recognize that you're here. I came from a dark place. I came from a dark place. So from behind the chimney. Or, yeah. or from a dark place. Huh. What is the dark place that you came from? That proximity meter, I mean, that doesn't do it unless something, right? Yeah. I mean, so can you come out and stay a little longer? From Come out from behind the chimney, please, so we know who you are. We can maybe communicate with you. Show us that you're here, come forward. You can touch the red light if you want, or that little blue light, or come all the way up and make the music go off. It's kind of cool. Our original goal up here was to bring out the SLS, to bring out the SLS and see if we can get this shadow figure captured on camera and see how, just how big it is. So I'm gonna have Jeff, I think, okay. start doing that now, and then we're gonna do a DR60 once we can pick that up on the SLS and we know that this thing's with us. Sounds like a great plan. All right. So how do, what do you want to film with? So it seems like whoever's here, once again, don't be threatened by us. We're just here to speak with you and we just want to figure out who you are. My name's Colin. I'm Jeff. Can you show yourself to us? Did you tend to, we heard, we tend to heard you like to live right behind this chimney stack, and it seems like that's where you've been coming out and touching these objects here. Oh, dude, I had I had one. Oh, look, that's not us. Oh, oh, I've got chills. Right when you got okay. Okay, I saw it. Look at that's not us. One appeared right here behind the chimney. It's gone, but can you come back? Come back and show yourself, dude. Look at that's not us. We I haven't know, moved. I know. I'll step back a little bit. Don't run anything. Dude, it's right Oh, the proximity meter. Proximity. It's right oh, here. Look, look, look. Dude, it's right where we thought. Dude. Where is it? Wait, right where here, is it? Right look at the, the oh. meter's completely on. Wait a second. Wait, where is it? Oh. Dude, the ladder. It's right in front of the chimney. 
Oh no, it's right. It's here. It's in front of this. It's on this. It's right there, though. The proximity meter's steady look at, look, on that. Oh, 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 wait, it's down. It's, it's coming it's towards coming. us. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Did it go? There it goes. Oh shit. Look at that. It's still it's right there. Off. And look at, look at, it just, oh. it stopped buzzing, buzzing. Where is it? Hey, can you step away from that green little triangle? Oh, oh. 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 oh is it? Dude, this is the place where she saw it right here. Literally. See if you can get it again. Okay. Can you, we? That was awesome. Yeah, thank you for. Can you please yeah. kind of show yourself again? Yeah, thank you for that. We're just really excited when you show up. Can you do wow. it again for us, please? That was really awesome. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, it's right here. Like, this is where she saw that figure. And that thing's going off again. Can you come back and show yourself again? Thank you for doing that, but it, it crawled, like, underneath here. It crawled right, right up, up to here, us. Right up here. Anywhere you want to show up. It's just a picture. See, you saw, like, it doesn't hurt you. That thing's just going crazy over there. I don't know. Trust the woman it just said over there. I'm just fixed on here. I'm waiting for you to come back. Try and get it one more time. Oh, sure. oh there it goes. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh! Look at look, 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 look. Thank you. That's right exactly where she saw it come from behind that chimney. Right there. Can you appear one more time for us? Dude, I got another one. Quick, 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 quick. Stand, can you stand up for us? Or touch one of those lights? Thank you it's for showing up. It's on the ground, up. on the ground again. Can you make the light go off in front of you there for me? It almost looks like it's laying down or yes. like trying yeah. to hide. Look at this. Oh, it jumped oh, up. Oh, oh, here it is. It's over there. Oh, stairs, it just said. Oh that God, just look, said look, stairs look, look. over there. Oh, I got, I'm, my, my legs are just like on fire. Dude, it's right there. Dude. It's coming up here. It's right, right oh, there. Oh, I feel it, I feel it. Can you, oh, it's laying down, like, you're right, like maybe hiding. Hey, we're friendly. Uh, do you want to make one of those lights go off for us there so you know that's you? Can you please touch? Oh, look, there's another one, there's another one, oh, dude. Oh, shit, there's two of them up here. Oh, my God. Can one of you guys touch those red lights over there? And anybody can show up. You're welcome to show up on here. Anybody that wants to show up. And you can you can play with the lights. Say something on the box over there. Oh my oh. God, do you see how far, how tall I got? Can you stand up for me? Oh, he did. He oh. did. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Look at, oh. thank you. Dude, it feels, thank you it so feels much. Oh. In here. Thank you so much for staying up. See, we're not here to hurt you. We're just here to verify you're here. Are you the one that's been... Oh, look at it jumped. Dude. Again, look at it. It's coming forward. Look at it. It's coming at us again. Are you wanting to be over by us? It's like trying to hide. Oh, look, the music oh. box just went off. Okay. Look at Right it. where look it's it. laying. Dude, it's right here. Look how big it is. Oh, disappeared. Oh. Oh, shit. Wow. That was crazy. Okay. Two at once. So, I mean, I think we've shown that they like to be back there. Yeah. So, do you want to do something like... Let's do a DR6. DR6. Okay. okay. Oh, look, the red light just went off over there. Oh. oh, my gosh. Okay. You want to show up again? I've been standing here just waiting for you. My oh. oh! Okay. You know, I think I think they've already showed us themselves, like twice, three times. So oh, just, dude, look at that. Maybe they want to communicate. Don't push it. Yeah. Oh, music oh, it box. Did. It said, "Don't push it." I know. Music so box like, too. Yeah. Let's not do this anymore. Then. All right. Let's try to communicate with them. Can you move one of those things? Last thing I'll ask. Can you move like a piece of wood that's on the floor or something? And I'm still just filming you, so if you want to show up again, you can. Oh, oh, dude. Dude, that's showing up. Just that, thank you. That's another way to show themselves, man. Look at that. It's like both the REM pod, the SLS, and the proximity meter. Every, every, all those.
And right the, there. The and paralyte has gotten just more and more. Oh, look at that over there! Look, look and this is look going it. off again. Look at this is going off. Dude, huge spikes on both Christian. of them. Oh my gosh. Christian. Wow. We know that they're, remember, really religious? Hey, I've been sweeping up here. The, the, this is where it's at, right here. I mean. All right, I'm going to turn okay. this camera off because okay. my battery's okay. about to die. Okay, so then, I'm, I'm, should I be done? Yeah. Okay. We're going to end this right now. Thank you for showing up on this device so much. That was fun. Thank you. We're bringing over something to talk to you with. Look at all this in here. All this material in here. It finally showed up right back where we think it's going to. Right? I mean, that's pretty crazy. Look at it. It really is. Oh, I got another one. Where? Oh, my gosh. Dude, look at this. Oh, shit. Okay, you want us to... What the hell? That did not show up before. Are you coming out? Are, are there more of you up here? There might be like a bunch of... Dude, that one over there. Oh my gosh, look at that. And this, dude, the spikes are so oh, big. Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. They go on the floor. Look at it. They try to hide. Look at it. It's on the floor. We're not... We're friendly. We're not here to find anybody. Oh. Oh, it's on the... It's coming like closer. Look at it. Jump to the chair. Dude, there's been one over here this whole time. Look at this. The thing spiking. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we better get on. Do you think? Yeah. I mean... Man, I think now I have a feeling like we could stay on this up here, but we've shown you're here. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna let Colin get the DR60 SLS REM pod proximity meter. Dude, Susan, what? look at that, Susan up here. Okay. Remember earlier? Yes. Susan. Oh, what the? There goes two both okay, of them. I'm Susan's filming. here. I, I, I... Oh wow, that's going nuts over there. Do you think we need to talk from here? Oh, that one too! Oh. That for the first time what just hit! Hell? Dude! Oh my gosh, dude. That's where the other one was. Yeah. That's where the other one was on the SLS. Well, thank you so much for coming out to show us you're here. What the you, hell? You know dude. we're friendly, right? I think they've gotten comfortable with us. Yeah. You know, I can't see you very well here on this. All right, let's do the DR60 over there. Can't see. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This place is charged here. So during the, the interview or during, during the tour, the tour guide had explained how she'd seen a figure pop out from behind the chimney um, stack, if you will, and come out and kind of go out, come back. So we decided to kind of get go up there and bring the SLS along with devices like the REM pods and so forth. And the place was crazy. I mean, uh, the SLS, I sweeped all around. And when I got up to the chimney area, I went over to the side by where she saw this figure, and I got like an, an SLS figure almost immediately. Ended up getting, I think, I want to say two or three that kept showing up. And then the, the REM pods and the devices were, I think the, I can't remember exactly all of it, you'll see it, but the devices basically were going kind of crazy. But it was crazy to get these SLS figures right in that same area where it looked like this, this entity was hiding and who the tour guide just earlier had said she'd seen it pop out from behind there. So for us, it felt like really good evidence like this was the entity or entities that live in that area and especially also setting off all the devices. But we wanted to actually then talk to it. So we ended up getting out the DR60 and you can watch from there what happens. Okay guys, so we're sitting right now in that little area where we just picked up the, st the figures. It feels weird back here, man. There's, there's like a ton of energy here now. And we're gonna do a DR60 session. Come over, everybody that's up here, come over and you can talk into this device that Colin's got. Look at that proximity here, dude. Or not the proximity the paralyte. Have you really looked at it? Have you seen it really do that much? No. I mean... All right. I'm gonna hit record. Okay, to whoever's back here, can you just really clearly try to say your name for us? Say your name out loud. Okay, I just wanna know a basic information as if you're a man or a woman, male or female. Okay, we've heard that this person or thing that's up here 
is aggressive and likes to push people and makes people uncomfortable. Why do you do that? Are you one of the slaves that were caught in the fire down in the cellar? Yeah, let me ask. Maybe you saw it. Did the fire downstairs actually happen or is it just a rumor? Can you tell us the father of Elizabeth who lived here and helped you? Okay, turn right, right here. Proximity made it. Colin, explain. Turn green right here. So you're standing right here. Tell us, tell us what you want us to do for you or what you have to say. It seems like you like to live right here. Do you know what this is called right here? Where you hide behind? This brick structure? Thank you for doing that. One last question. Is there anybody in the basement right now that we can go talk to? All right, let's listen. Wait. Well, I don't get it. What's happening? It sounds like a voice. But like, why is it going yeah, to the yeah. next question? That's weird. I think it's because of this damn thing right now. So, I just found out what makes it Woman, listen. I can't hear. Listen. Well. Oh my God! That is super clear. I don't hear it again. I can't. Oh shit! Like, that is completely clear. Dude, that is literally. super clear. Oh man. Well, I, I can't quite hear it. I'll let you and then. Oh, I can hear it from here. Dude, Dude I can hear it from here. No, I can hear it from here. A woman. It's like oh, super man. clear. Even with oh, dude, it's that's super clear. fucking incredible. A woman, dude. dude. Class A right here, guys. That's they think it's a guy, but it's actually a woman here. It might be. It's a, you know a what I mean? Woman. It is. It, it verified downstairs. Dude. You just went super blurry again, too. No, I can oh, hear man. it. I can hear it from here now. That's so sick. Damn. Wow, that is super clear. <laughs> it sounds like there's like so many voices. Like in between. You know? Thank you. 
Listen to it more. Yeah, yeah. Work structure. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for doing that. Well, you know what's interesting? I'll go ahead. I think the woman's crazy. I mean, that that alone, that's a huge capture for me. That's probably the best one we've got in this whole well, trip. Plus we got the figures like undisputable that are here and, and the devices. Well, everything going off. I mean, yeah. I mean, so. But it doesn't seem like this woman wants to talk to us. It doesn't seem like it. So I think it's time to go to the basement. Me too. Let's do it. All right, man. Thank you for speaking yeah, with us. Thank you. Wow. Anything else you want to do or say? And this has been completely silent. Music box has been completely silent going that way. Proximity meter. Okay. Let's go down. So the word woman on the DR60, that was absolutely bone chilling when you hear it. I know a lot of people. There's debates in the paranormal community between uh, the DR60 being like the best tool ever. Some people absolutely hate it. I personally love it. There have been so many captures that are beyond what people can even debunk, which is like that woman. I mean, it's like very clearly a person or sounds like a woman saying the word woman. And there's no debate in my mind that that was something wild that we captured. It's actually probably one of the best DR60s we've gotten in a really long time. Yeah, I think we confirmed there is a woman up there in the attic. She might be the thing that's hiding around the corner, but we really wanted to finally dig into the real story of this house. Did those slaves really burn to death in the basement? Are their bodies still there? We went down to the basement to start investigating and the activity that we captured, once again, is just, it's just wild. One ghost detected. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we're now in the basement of the Hannah house. This is where allegedly that fire took place that claimed the lives of, they don't know exactly how many fugitive slaves were running to escape slavery. That lamp knocked over, set this bottom area on fire, killed those people, and apparently the owner buried those slaves' bodies down here after they died. Oh, oh, wow. My death was horrible. My death was horrible. So we've got a bunch of REM pods set up. I want to see if any of them spike, which would show maybe where a body would be buried. Um, we're just going to sit here and listen for a second, and then we're going to do a dual port. Okay. Okay. Whoever's here with us, my name's Colin. My name's Jeff. We would love to speak with you. Gabriel. Gabriel. Your middle name. My middle name. Right, Colin Gabriel. 
we, we just said our names and they say a name. But if you see we've got red lights, they look like little red lamps, colors on the floor. If you go up to any of those little colored circles and touch them, maybe you could show us where you're buried. Correct. Okay, well if that's correct, go ahead and touch one of those lights and show us where your body is. So, we have some little toys that we're going to use. Argument. Murder, consider argument. Maybe. That's a really strange string of words. Maybe one they got in an argument and one of them broke the lamp? Yeah, you know? Remember, remember I said too, like, maybe there's a different story? You know, than it's being than they think? Remember? They, we had the brutal... Think. Yeah. The bur I mean, like, maybe murdered? I mean... I mean... I, don't, I mean, we don't know, but I mean, it's kind of odd. So, this thing... That device that I have right there is a miniature Jacob's Ladder. Basically, if anybody's in here, and they're down here, and you can hear this, I'm about to give you guys a ton of energy. So when I turn this thing on, you see the light. Try to take as much of this energy as you can. So yeah. John. John, that's one of the, who is that? That's the second? Yeah, that's one of them. I think it's the second family. The elder family rented the Hannah oh, house yeah, out for several years to John and Gladys O'Brien. The who, bench. Oh my the God. The bench. Oh, you're right then. Dude, John. The bench, what if they're buried under the bench? Oh. You're right though. You got the John, yeah. you got good good memory. Yep, John and Gladys O'Brien. Okay, so John. Maybe they just remember John. I remember John, sure. Well, I'm gonna turn this on, so you guys okay. take. <laughs> Chris, you're a Look at the earplug, take your, warn people to take their headphones out before you put this on. Oh, look, is that this? Mm -hmm. Crazy. Yeah, Every cool. time you do that, it feels like charged yeah, it up. it does. It feels no. lighter or I don't know what. Okay, I hope that helped you, give you Jasmine. some energy. Again, Jasmine. Jasmine. What's up with Jasmine? We have to ask. Could it be a female slave who died? Could be, I mean, and then there's also the Jasmine, right? I mean, flower, right? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Stretch. Um, Exit, it's unpleasant here. Exit, it's unpleasant here. Ah, wow, right in a row. Well, uh huh. Above you. Are you saying that we should leave because it's unpleasant here because of what happened? Hun. Hun? So, since I gave you that energy, and I know you can do this, all if you see all those little lights on the floor, can you walk towards the area where your body is? Show us on the floor where your body is. Just walk towards your body. Positive. And it'll show us where you're buried. Positive energy, like positive negative. Let us know. I haven't heard. Where are you buried? He said the bench as well. Knock a ping pong ball. Oh, 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 there was nothing going on. So it set off that one right by you, one. that one way over there. One, it didn't set this off this one. one right here, and it didn't Nothing set off spirits. many didn't do, spirits. Didn't do that. And it didn't set off the music box didn't either. Do, yeah. 
So, dude, that's actually okay, crazy. I know, like, I know. Right when you it was like mask? completely dead. <laughs> but I did have the music box go off though. Yeah. Beforehand. Can you can you do that again? Or what should, what should we do? Yeah, maybe? yeah, ask him. Yeah, can you confirm that for us? Can you give us an idea if there was a fire down here by telling us anything on these devices here? Shadows move. Well, I just I just got done telling you that I thought there was a shadow. Right. Remember? I mean, right, right beside me. Can you touch those lights again to show us where you're buried? Right there and right there is where you touched before. Is that true? And that device. Oh! Okay. This one hasn't gone off yet. Yeah. Yeah! But, dude, yeah. Yeah. Over here, over here. Yeah. Okay, what, what, what should we do with. That's where, that's where they're buried, dude. Okay. Is that where you're buried? Nine. Nine. Nine, Nine buried. Nine. Oh, I got chills, man. They said it is six, seven to nine. Yeah, I think six to ten or something like that. Is it true that nine people are buried here? You know, like well, right through here, they're all they're all right here, like in between here and there. Or wait and see. Oh, wait and see. Wow. Like, why? What are we gonna? Yeah, what are you gonna show us? Is that? <gasps> oh, what dude. Is that? I what? like the lights. What? I like oh. the lights. Okay, if you like them, can you touch the one by wow. where your body is again? Yeah, and you showed us that you like the lights. If you like the lights, can you touch the light one more time just to confirm? Because it seems like you're really smart and you're able to do it. And it would help us a lot to just kind of prove that you're actually here. Or you could use your voice to talk to us. Oh, what? That just hit. Well, something hit. I'd like to see you knock one of these ping pong balls off the table here as well. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. That'd be really cool. It's just kind of a game. If you're down here and you. That entity's here. Oh. Okay, it seems to have something. What the heck? Something like aggressive or. I don't Angry get what here. the... That's why I think, to me, there's some kind of a different story. You know what I mean? It's a very... Like... What did she say about a witch? Yeah, I... Oh! Oh, my God. Dude. What was that? What was that? No. Oh, that sounded like a bark. A bark or something. I didn't hear you. Yo, yo. Oh. oh. It was like, literally, like... Ruff. Ruff. Up here, like here, right in this pipe. You'll have to play back. Yeah, no. Weird. Okay, so when you said witch, it bad said enemies, no. you know what I'm saying? Ah, but what if it's trying to fool us? Oh. Oh. What? That doesn't just go off. I know. I, mean, I say it. it just doesn't go off unless there's. I something. died in the war. Oh, dude, that's like the, you know, it's the Civil War. That was the, under, the Underground Railroad, the reason. Like, did they die here? Who's, who's standing right there? Can you tell us your name, please? Yeah, look at that. See, now here they've come. Have you come in again? It's like they just stay in the door. You know what I mean? Wait. Can you? Wait. Wait, okay. Please step in here. You hit these lights before. Oh, oh, right here, right here. Oh, oh over there. Again. Oh, oh. Where's it? <coughs> God, my. You know what? It said dry. My throat was so dry. Dude, oh. this light's going off. Dude, right, right here. And none of the others. Right here. None of the others. Can you keep hitting this light, please? Oh, that oh. one. Who is in the doorway? Oh my gosh, who's coming in the room? Can you tell us on here? Look at that thing. Marks. Marks. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Whoa look at nothing else. Dude, what the hell, man? 
It's just when this thing's going off. The, the, the music box. Okay, can you step away from that box that's making noise for us so we can hear you? Dude, that's f***ing crazy, okay. the correlation between... Me? And then you can see it go from this one to that one yeah. to this one and then both but of them. But it's weird though, like, that one and that one doesn't ever go off. I know. I mean, it's it's like yeah, right. localized. This you know one saying, doesn't right? go off no, and that one... That one right here and that one right even next to the music box yeah. that continues to go off never has gone off. Just these two. You know, look at this music box though. I mean, I'm gonna come over here anyway. But look at this thing. Like that thing is pointing right there at the door at the door, right at the door frame. He killed. Oh, oh shoot. shoot, Jesus. Holy crap, dude, right here too again. What in the hell? Dude, he right dude, when I said he I'm gonna killed. I'm gonna turn this off. Yeah. Right when okay. I said he killed. And murdered it said. Okay, and, and let's be clear. Like the music box has nothing to do with the REM pods. Yeah. I mean, that can't set off the REM pods. That is pointed right here at the door frame, right there. So, I mean, it just shows someone's right there. Dude, how f***ing weird is that? The bolt, the REM pods yeah, spiking crazy. so hard, the music box goes off. It also says murdered and he killed. So, it seems like... Did one? Did they blame one person for killing them? Is that why there's maybe angry energy down here? Like they blame somebody? Did one of the people down here actually like take the oil lamp and like just throw it on the ground? Like what happened? Because that's a lot of. Yeah. There's a, might also explain some of the aggressive angry energy that's down here. People feeling like one one person that was down here with them like I don't know snapped and just killed people. I don't know. That's why I keep telling you, I think there seems like, to me, like there's an, al an yes, alternate... Oh. Like there's an alternate story we down there. We need a race. We need a race. Weird, it's kind of like turning the tables on us. You know, like we tell them to make a noise. Yes, it's me, the person that killed, that or feels guilty that they killed. We are family. Again. I mean, to me, I, I, I just kind of keep feeling like with all this stuff, there's an alternate story, like, than what's told. Yeah. Which obviously nobody really knows. I think we should but, get out the dual port. Okay. As you come into these places, you know, for those that are watching, I kind of feel like you come into a place and it's just like nothing's going on, like it's just dead. And if you take the time and sit long enough, you know, and just be patient, like this, it kind of happens, right? They get comfortable with you. There's definitely something too that happens to us all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Places we go to, we're like, wow, it's really quiet. And then as they get used to, especially if you're open, things just happen. Like, I thought this was completely dead. Look at how much stuff has been going on. Communication. You know, right? It's all about communicating. <laughs> so, Whoa. Anyway, yeah. John. Oh, John. Again. Oh, John. Well, but, it, you know, it could be phonetic again. Weird, though. That's very close. Hi, I'm burning. Yeah, yeah, that sounded like it. Can you just tell us what your name is, please? Okay, maybe if you don't want to tell us your name, maybe they're afraid to tell us their name like we're gonna catch them running or something. Can you tell us yes or no? Did a fire actually kill people down here? There was a man that said something. Again, can you tell us clearly that yes or no there was a fire here? All you have to say is yes or no. Great smoke. Are there bodies buried down here? I think it's a lot like the 
there's some things underneath here. You have to listen really closely. Are there bodies buried down here? Yes or no? Doorway. Maybe over there? Yeah, well that's where I, I thought someone was standing. Yeah, right. It was setting it off. Someone's hiding? Oh. Someone's hiding in the basement is what I thought. I, it's probably just in my head. So, I think you've told us that yes, there was a fire that killed people. There are bodies down here. Can you say a number? Tell us how many people died and were buried down here? Ten. Tell us how many bodies are buried here. Numbers. Wow. Here. Here. Yeah, how many? Yeah, how many people? Can you just say the number super clearly, please? Okay, so it seems like there's 10, around 10 people that died and were buried down here. Can you explain to us really clearly how you died? Was it the smoke? Was it fire? Were you just killed in a... Just explain how. I thought it sounded like lungs. Can you tell us where you came from? What city in the US you came from or part? Listen back to it again. Can you say it again clearly? Yeah. You came from Atlanta, you were on the Underground Railroad trying to make it north to Canada. Can you can you just tell us where you were trying to make it north to? city where you trying to make it to? I would just say like anybody now that's listening to the episode with headphones on and you listen to this, if you have an idea and you can hear it clearly, just post it for us please. There's so much energy in that basement. The REM pods going off on those specific spots. I wish we could get like ground penetrating radar out there to see exactly what's under the ground, but obviously we can't do that. Um, but it, it really does seem like there are people there and possibly buried under the ground right there. But the only way to get these answers that we were craving was to do the Estes method. And so that's what we did. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week, to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button, and comment That's so scary! in the comment section below. I'm gonna give y'all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. So go comment. You can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. All right, guys. So we want to get answers here. It seems like these spirits are talking to us, but we just want to get the truth of the story. Maybe this will be the easiest way to hear them. Let's do this, man. Okay. Let's let him get started. There we go. Okay. So can you tell me who's down here? Give me a name or how many of you are down here? A lifetime of support. Did the person that owned the home here give you a lifetime of support? Is that who you're referring to? He felt bad. Heavy labor, a lot of cleaning. Was it due to the fire that was There's down? so many. Okay, I would think like a lot of people came through here. And you do, you probably had to clean the home a lot. Was it with the Underground Railroad? Was it, were you helping the slaves? I need to tell you, Jimmy. Jimmy, God. He reaped here. What did Jimmy do here? He cut the grass. So Jimmy was actually interesting, okay? He worked here. Um, yep. Huh. Was Jimmy a servant here, or was he part of the maid. family? A maid. Oh, my God. That's on the spot. On. I feel like I'm in jail. Can you tell me anything about the fire? Did a fire happen here or not? It sounds like there was one upstairs in the attic, too. Yeah, let me tell you. Go ahead. Did people die here? In a fire? Oh, my God. I just heard screaming, like, ah! Ah! Mm -hmm. So it almost sounds like... All that's, nine. That's tragic. Tragic. To so, the right. I just heard water. Are you... There's water right over there to his right. The Bible called for peace. Okay, are you buried here? We're trying to understand that. It sounds like there was a Take fire. a look. Okay, well. Oh, I just heard, uh, next to my grave? So it sounds like I was communicating with you guys, unfortunately, in the fire. He did it. Okay, and it sounds like somebody... Got angry. Got angry and and did this to you guys. I'm sorry if that happened, but who did it? So can you give me an idea who it was? My baby. Well, I'm sorry for your past Timothy. scene here. Timothy, are you one of the family servants or who passed here, perished in the fire? Can you tell me? Inside what? the basement. So I'm that take, I think that you're one of the per, Inside, or are you buried here? Can you confirm that you're buried here in the basement? Are you were? Yeah. Oh, okay. The road led me here. Wow. Where did you guys come from? Did you come, like, if you can tell me, a state or the west or the east or anything like that of the United States? On a farm. Okay, you came from a farm. Did you have to travel up or to the left or the right to get here from what part of the country? That's really Couldn't really tell. So I, I know it sounds like I'm talking from, to me, the, the slaves that Run! were fleeing. I was, exactly. And you sought refuge here. You're from the south. Uh, you, you came up makes sense to me. Shh, don't talk. Okay, but I have to ask. Seeking shelter right now. Did any of you make it to Canada that came through here and have come back here and you like it back here? Can you tell me where you went? Like in Canada? Or yes, to the wilderness. Okay. <clears throat> Far from here. Okay, that makes sense. 
so uh, I'm glad a lot of you made it. Um, Amazing. Mm, sounds like the song Amazing Grace. Is that? Are you singing the song? No, it's a big strength a song of strength. Fearless. Hmm. It was rough. Hmm. Oh, the flame's hot. No. Literally like a woman's voice. The flame's hot. What? How many of you were down here when the flames came? Any idea? Like... Can you tell me were there women or children, men? Can't remember. I just keep hearing random like, ah! like screaming. I don't know if it's residual Jeez. or what, but it's very freaky. Damn. I'm sorry if that's you guys in the fire. Um, do you know where you're at? Trying to find a better life. Okay, I just to say, do you know where you're at now? Okay. Patience ran thin. <clears throat> Have you made it to heaven? Would you? Say? Oh, Atlanta! Okay. Again, dude. Okay, so you're from the south. We knew that. <clears throat> you fled up here. <clears throat> you were taken in and received shelter here. But what happened to you? What? What? How? How'd the fire start? How the fuck? He got pissed. Okay, once again, it sounds like maybe somebody, a person, purposely started the fire here. So how many of you perished in this fire here? Lots of oil. Not, never received help. I'm sorry about that. A so, big group. Okay, so there, there are many of you. I'll take that as an answer for how many. Are you stuck here, or do you just come back here, or... Do you like it here? Tell me something about why you're here. Why are you still here? Oh my God, there's a graveyard down here. Okay, that would, that would explain. No specific little markers. Do you know that you're, you're dead and that you can move on? Like you can go to the light? Oh yeah. Okay. It's not my choice. Well, it should be your choice that you can go to the light and escape this why is it not your choice why who's keeping you here when you say it's oh, not I feel like I just felt like something brushed the back of my neck I guess I'm trying to understand like you say it's not your choice to leave used, uh, used oil can you answer in my... the cradle can you answer my question, though, as to why you can't leave? Who's keeping you here? You should be able to leave and go to the light. You can cross over, but why can't you? You, you said it's not your choice. Whose choice is it? That person is out of line. They're not going to realize. Oh, that was creepy. We're right here. He always knew. Well, it sounds like you're... You're here and you don't want to be here because someone's not letting you leave. Who is that? Or what entity is not letting you cross over? Can you tell me why you're still here? Like, what are they doing to hold you here? Is it a bad entity or making you afraid? Not resting properly. Yeah, so we say rest in peace. We, we want you to rest in peace. That means the cross. Indiana, over. who? Um, where are? Where am? Or where am I? Yeah. See, I don't know if you realize that you're you passed away and you can leave this place. You're and, so crazy. No, but you, you have, and that's what I'm getting the feeling like somebody is giving you misinformation. That's my headstone. You passed away in Indiana, and they're holding you here, or somebody. You're lying. <laughs> By giving you like false information, like pretending you're still alive. You you are you have passed. You can cross over and go to the light. Do you realize that? Can you confirm that that you understand what I'm telling you? The hell do you mean? Just like that. Okay, you are you are dead. 
Unfortunately. That means that someone's keeping you. Yeah, me and Eddie. Okay. Someone's telling you misinformation is my feeling that you're still alive. You're not. And you can leave and go to the light. You can cross over and... It's different. And, no. Well, why is it different? Dude, I just heard. It's an illegal burial. Hmm. Like, literally. Okay. Okay, well... Half the country came together. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Maybe you're fearful that you're going to go, the light is a bad thing, but it's not. It's a great thing for you. It's freedom. God's got me. Exactly. I mean, that's why you can leave. I think you're caught in the same thing of being afraid, like the, the light is who are the people that are chasing you. It's not Oh, dude, I feel like something on my left arm. Hmm. Like, it's freezing cold. Praise Jesus. They're <laughs> like a singing. Praise Jesus. Okay, I hope that you, you guys realizing that you can actually, you're crossing over. Because that's what I want you to do. Whoever's giving them the wrong. History, thing. that's what I'm looking at. Hmm. Royal colors and music, please. Okay, it sounds to me like you're wanting My to mom got sick. Hmm. It sounds like you're realizing that you want to have like a grand entrance. I met your request, sir. Okay. Who am I talking to? There were twins down here. Literally. Okay. Have you guys realized that you can leave now? It sounds Are like you not a Christian? It sounds like you have. Okay, it seems pretty confusing that you, you aren't crossing over and you're kind of stuck here. I, I, I'm afraid to say or you can, I can't. It, it seems like... The drummer knew me. But it seems like you're actually... Praising Jesus and believing in God. While John. You're, while you're still... Jeez, John, okay. He's... I'm asking you just leave, please. Okay. Just know that... If yeah. You, it sounds like you're you're here. You're, you're, you believe Look in God. Look up 366. Okay. 366 would be maybe in the Bible. A passage in the Bible would be my guess. Um, anyway... Sounds like you can, or you John don't. Whittington. Ah, what? John Whittington. Okay. Dude, you gotta Google that or some shit. Yeah. John Whittington. Whittington. Okay, I can't do it right now. Okay, I'm gonna go back to talking to you guys. Like, it sounds like you trying to cross your. It doesn't sound like you can. You're here. Ah, um, ah. Sounds like you believe in God. Um, if you're suffering, please try to rest in peace as best you can. Um, keep your belief system going like you have it. Keep each other. I'll look up this John Winnington to see if there's any connection for you. It'll never change, will it? I'm really tired, man. Well, I tried to work with you with the light and so forth, but it sounds like, sounds like you're here for now and um, stick together, but anything you want to tell me before we leave or? I miss the honky tonks I used to be in. Okay. Literally like a mm. sentence. Wow. Well, it sounds like you guys are I all- I mean, I've been buried for 99. At least together. So that's good and then you have your faith. No. Hmm. Well, the pain is eternal. Yeah, I don't really know what to tell you. I'm sorry, but... Uh, oh, Hannah! Like singing. Well, know that you... If you can leave at some point... Good night. You can? Okay. Well, I hope you rest in peace here. But, uh, sorry I couldn't get through to you on crossing, going to the light. Eventually... Just know it happened. Okay. Literally like that. Yeah. Just know it happened. Okay. Okay, so we'll confirm that the Don't fire wait. happened, you were here, you were buried here. Something to do with John Winnington. We can look up that name, the Winnington part I'm not sure on. But are you happy here then, would you say? Or do you have a family here? I'd like to know that you're, you're in peace or, or you want to stay right now. 
This is time to go. Do you want us to go now? God's got me. You said that already. Okay, well then, it seems like that's it. I mean, it seems... Be quiet. Okay. Literally like a woman. Be quiet. Well, thanks for talking to us. believe you feel like you're going to stay here. Maybe don't quite understand it, but I hope you're all together. Are you all together? Are you watching out? Sometimes life is tragic. Yes. Okay. I'm going to take... I just heard like a... (sighs) I'm going to take it that you are all together. Um, Overall... Oh, there's some noises here next to me. Oh, yeah! Okay, good. I don't have a whole lot more I'm going to ask you. But you've confirmed. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and tap Colin out now. We're going to end it. Okay, thank you. Fire out. Okay. Whoa. Okay. God. Yeah. <laughs> I think. God. So I feel like that made sense. Or like, well, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of words that were coming through that like seemed really relevant. Well, of course, you had oil. I think you mm-hmm. had um, Atlanta. I was crazy. Atlanta! Um, like that. You had, I think, you came up, you know, again, up from at the south. Uh, there's going to be a lot more. But you definitely um, acted like that it happened, the fire happened, that they are buried here, but not properly buried. And that um, I really couldn't get them to understand, like, going to the light. Because they already, like, kept, they said God. You said Jesus, I think. It's like, they believe in God, Jesus, but they're, they're together. And for whatever reason, there's someone that's, or something that's preventing them from crossing over. Or they don't want to. Can't quite understand that, but they're here. And uh, they want, you know, going to the light, they just... God's with me already. Like it's almost like I'm already there, but they're not. You know, I think they're confused. But it sounds like the response I got from them is that they're all together. That's good. And they believe in God. Um, and that indeed it did happen. You know, and they're buried here. It feels like it happened. So we and I know people. For me, they'll tell me, "Well, don't just create a narrative." But you know, you kind of have to make sense of what you're, you're saying. And that's why, that's my feeling. No doubt it feels like it happened. Yeah. This place has definitely got stains of like unrest, some aggression, some happiness. Yeah. And what's kind of weird too is like you said goodbye or you know, that's kind of why I ended it because it's like, it seemed like you guys want, they didn't want to just go. Yeah. But look at this room. Everything has been Dude, the, Nothing so, has, and that the that, that light went from white to red. Yeah, the triangle. What does Someone's that mean? Standing right there. Really? Yeah. Because that was white, and now both sides are red. Yep. It was, it, I didn't even I didn't even notice that until just now. Wow. What's kind of interesting is like we were talking about that REM pod, the two here going off, and then saying like maybe it's like a mass burial. Yeah. Maybe they're right there. Right. Right. At the end, before we leave, there are. Here we are. But none of the REM pods went off the whole, at all. That's crazy. And I didn't notice the, what's it called again? The triangle. Yeah, but it's called the proximity meter. I, yeah. I didn't recognize the proximity This had turned from both white to red. And we thought it was dead, right? Yeah. That's kind of weird. It came on. <laughs> yeah. Well. So that's a good, okay, we know you're here. Thank you guys. Yeah. I guess uh, we're going to let you rest for now, but thank you to everybody who spoke with us this evening. Same same here. Thank you. I hope you can rest in peace and stay together like you are here. It sounds like you are. So at least that part makes me feel good. John Winnington? Oh, yeah. John Winnington. What, who's Winnington? We, we got a... Did you Google it? No, I don't have my phone. Uh, there's my phone here. Weird. 
John Whittington Franklin is a historian that covers troubling black history. Really? That's really, what? that's a strange connection. Is he Our alive? history has been so consciously suppressed, says historian John Whittington Franklin on America's relationship with black history. Is His grandfather alive? survived the Tulsa race massacre. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, 366, I'm looking going the other way. I'm looking at Bible verses 366, right? Mm hmm. As Moses' serpent was lifted up, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Wow. So the only part I read is, just as Moses' serpent was lifted up on a pole in the wilderness, so Jesus was lifted up on the cross so that we might have forgiveness of sin and eternal life. Maybe that's, I don't know. That's weird. A Bible verse that they kind of kept, that keeps them going, you know, inspires them. <laughs> There's know, a lot more to, to it though here. But it's Moses and a serpent. Weird. Anybody that has any idea about the, uh, Bible verses 366, you can chime in. I don't know. Well, I think we're going to call it a wrap for the yeah. day. Yeah, okay. We'll talk about it more later. Sure. So the Hannah House, again, is a very interesting place for me because it's kind of like just like secluded right downtown Indianapolis, surrounded by modern things. It's kind of a blast out of the past. It's just in the middle of this urban area. As you approach it, it's got all these these woods and trees and the structure itself had a different coloring to it. It was just overall creepy and uh, like a time bygone that you just, where is this thing from? But ultimately when you get there, the, the history again we keep coming back to of the Underground Railroad being part of that, again, allegedly, but again, pretty much they're never gonna talk about that because they're never gonna talk like there was a fire with slaves. You're gonna, you'd get, hung if you put that down so for me that's the cool part about this place i don't think we've ever done any place connected to the underground railroad along with the tragedy that happened unfortunately with the the slaves that this guy was trying to help down in the in the basement so for me it was again a surprise a place I'd never heard of a place i'd i'd like to go back to full of history and again i just full of energy you know entities I think all mixed together makes this just again just a great spot to go and investigate so the Hannah house very very unique type of haunting not scary but a lot of energy energy that came and went and came and went but it seems like whatever's there has this story that it wants to share whether it wants to confirm the fact that there are bodies buried under the ground or it wants to discuss this angry woman that's in the attic. I don't know exactly what it wants, but it wants something. And that's obviously what keeps us going here at the Paranormal Files is trying to find those answers to these questions that aren't documented. Answers that you could only get by asking people from the time period, you know? I don't know what's gonna happen there. I would, honestly, if you're a paranormal investigator in the area, I would highly recommend you go check out the Hannah House because I would like personally to see more investigations done there to see what they record, what responses they get, because I don't know, if there are the bodies of people in the basement, it's it's like they should have a proper memorial or something, you know, be written down officially, because although all this stuff is, you know, talked about, I don't know if it's officially written in the record of the, of the house. And that may be a sore subject for the spirit. That may be why they get angry or, you know, manifest in kind of negative ways, shoving people. They, they just want to be remembered. But I don't know. This was a fun one to film. Thank you guys for watching. You all are the reason why we're here right now in Indiana. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. We will see you next Monday. We have some incredible videos left from this series. And as always, y'all, it's Colin here. Stay spooky.